Yo, what is up, 2K community? It's your boy, Only 2K Joey. And today I'm here to inform you about everything you need to know about the new season of NBA 2K League and everything that you have to do to qualify and the dates in which you can qualify, okay? So if you love this sort of shit, make sure you smack that subscribe button. Like, I don't know. I can't say nothing PG right now. But anyway, let's get right into it. So, first things first. The qualifier is in Pro-Am and Rec. And it opens up. Get that shit out of here. And the qualifier opens up October 22nd and it goes through November 10th. Now, during this time, you will have to win 50% of your rec games that you play, okay? That's the qualifying number one thing. Ah! Dunking on fools. Feel me? So, you have to win 50% of the rec games that you play between that time period. And you have to win at least 50 games. So that means it's a 100 game minimum in that time. And that's the test. It says on the website that that's to test your commitment. That's just to test your commitment to see how down you really are. Because if you're going to get into the NBA 2K League, yeah, it's only its third year or something like that. But they're going to expect people to really be dedicated and to like spend all their time playing this. If you're going to be considered a professional. A lot of perks come with it. You can make up to half a million dollars in one season, you know? And that's just off of, you know, not all salary, but that's if you win tournaments and you show up and do certain things. There's perks and incentives and initiatives. You can win almost half a million dollars just through the tournaments and everything. That's pretty good. Um, base salary has went up to about $50,000, I believe. And that's not bad at all either, com considering that most people are doing a job for $50,000 that they hate. You know what I mean? So you can play 2K and make hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's pretty good. You have to complete an online application by November 10th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's about like noon in L.A., you know? So by noon in L.A., that's basically it. I mean, you have to sign the likeness agreement. So if you know about the, the agent, the thing that was going on with agent, you have to sign the likeness agreement that agent was talking about that um that's how 2k is getting around everything that they're doing and honestly that's that's the reason that everyone's becoming a 99 easy this year that's why they changed reputation with overall that was a successful move by nba 2k because if someone's gonna be professional everyone's gonna have to start at a certain point with all their badges you know what i'm saying and that's what i think they figured out so since NBA 2K figured out that everyone's going to have to start at a certain point with all their badges, they changed the overall system so that we can all be 99 by the time that they recruit for the 2K League. So that's kind of like the three to five year plan evolving with NBA 2K. It's not really about giving us a better user experience, you know what I'm saying? As much as it's about just their business goals to develop the NBA 2K League as something that makes them millions of dollars in the future on. So we can look for the NBA 2K League to be the driving force in the whole overall system that's going on right now. That's why they're not firing Ronnie 2K. Ronnie 2K is actually working and executing on a mass like level, like a level bigger than just developing a game the consumers like that's what the youtubers are talking about we're talking about take two interactives real influence on what's going on we're seeing it with the overall and things like that changes that's some, that seems like something that would have happened in a meeting with take two interactive in 2k you know what i mean that's not something mike wang and those guys talked about mike wang ronnie 2k and the people at 2k including teodora and whoever else is in there um yeah he sucks all these people running right to the lane you guys are the worst builds 
You're the worst players in 2K. All you guards that run right to the lane and try to hand it to the big man like that, that is weak as hell. Just go keep dribbling until you're ready to make a smart pass. Don't force it just because you're done dribbling. Just because you're done dribbling doesn't mean that it's time to force a pass. Thank you. But yeah, basically all the 2K people meet with their parent company, which is take to interactive and take to interactive is interested in developing the profitability of the 2k league so it makes perfect sense that they're making us become 99s overall right away we think it's because of us no it's not you know it makes perfect sense and eventually maybe they'll just have a league eventually they'll have a league where it's all our likeness only you know what i'm saying Eventually, it'll be a league where it's like, see my player right here? It'll be my real player. And people will expect you, it'll be to the point to where we're slowly changing the way that my player progresses, you know? So, that's something we can expect in the next two 2K from the one or two 2Ks coming out in the future. So, there we have it, everyone. We played a pretty good game right there. I went three for three. I was kind of depending on my team to do their thing, and they did. Shout out to my team. I'm X Jolly and ASAP Too Cold. We did our thing, and also shout out to our opponents, Rob, Blaring Hornet 73, and Too High to Focus. It's your boy only 2K Joey, and thank you so much for being here. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll have a link in the description for you to sign up for the 2K League, and I'll also have the resources that I use, you know, like the link to the 2K League, and then also um, the link to the information on their website, all right? I, myself, would I like to play in the 2K League? I don't know, man. Like, seems like there's a lot of shenanigans that I don't understand going on behind the scenes, but I'd be interested if I got invited, so... I'm gonna definitely try to make the I'm definitely gonna try to make the run. So we'll see how that goes.